Well, good afternoon, everybody. And uh, here we are in Ipswich, and uh, it's uh, three o'clock. We wanted to come here today because yeah. on our outreach, we'd heard about the Ipswich martyrs who were sacrificed by burning in this very spot. No one is quite sure where, but it could well be where that fountain was. And in 1515, between 1515 and 1558, uh, the Ipswich martyrs were burnt alive at the stake. There'd be many more before and probably many more after, but I wanted to pay homage to those good men who defended the Bible against the wicked Queen Mary, also known as Bloody Mary. So today we left home at about an hour and a half ago. First of all, we had problems with the car. It's slightly overheating, so we're not sure whether it's it's uh, some internal thing that's got to be done or the exhaust or what. But more importantly, we made it, praise the Lord, to get here. So what I wanted to do is to remember those Ipswich martyrs who came here to preach the gospel as we had. They were arrested, taken into the prison over there. Many were hanged, but for some reason, these ones were brought out as an example to be brought here, possibly where this fountain is, as an example to everyone else who defied the state and the church and all of these things. So I'm going to read out the names, but I don't think we should just group them together as the Ipswich martyrs. These people all have names. They had a family, they came from something, but they had a belief in the Bible. They had a belief in God and they detested the Catholic Church, which was being organized and controlled and run brutally by Mary, Buddy Mary. So I'm going to read out their names, say a few words afterwards, and then we'll get on and get our banner up. It's over there. Okay, then the first name is Thomas Bilney. Thomas Bilney, Nicholas Peak, Robert Samuel, Agnes Poland, and Joan Trunskel. So there are also women here as men, as men who weren't taken out and hung, probably very slowly, but brought here for the funeral. The funeral of their death in burning. Ah, the clock chimes behind me. And it was absolutely crowded at the time. There were thousands here watching. It goes all the way up there. You can just imagine it, all the way around here. They'd probably got here early morning to get a good seat. John Hudson, William Pikes, Alex Gooch, Alice Driver, also murdered were Anne Bolton, not on this day, but later on. John and Michael Transcheld and Agnes Wardrobe. Wardle, I should say, Agnes Wardle. They were brutally brought out here for this ex execution, which had been organized by the state and probably with great glee as well. But there were many other Protestant believers who were brought out and executed, as I say, so some were hung, but we wanted to pay homage to these men. And there's further information in Fox's Book of Martyrs. If you can get a copy of Fox's Book of Martyrs, it lists these men, it lists their background, when they were charged, where they were tried, and so forth. So this is it, really, for today. Come back and say a few more ways later. James is going to preach a few words. We're going to get our trusted banner up, and from then, blessings and goodbye. <laughs>